talking about the seismic. This is a building that was damaged in Chile. So as usual, we've changed a number of things in seismic provisions. I can't go through all of them, but we changed the ground motions, or I should say USGS changed the ground motions. We also have new site factors. We haven't changed the site factors for more than 20 years. We had a huge amount of data uh, over that period of time, so we have new improved site factors. We now have a new option for vertical ground motions. We have um, changed the modal response spectrum analysis scaling procedure. We have new diaphragm requirements. Uh, I'll talk about some quick, uh, quick overview of changes to chapter 13 and then one very specific one on rooftop uh, solar panels. In ASC 710, we worried about egress and what we did was designated as an ICP of 1.5. Now we have explicit provisions in ASC 716, but for the, the uh, solar panels, they're in 13.613, based on recommendations that were created in the Structural Engineering Association of California. And these are ballasted arrays, so there's no direct attachment to the roof. Okay, some changes to wind. This is thanks to Hurricane Hugo in St. Croix. Okay, in the changes to wind, we have new maps, and especially one for risk category four that's separate. It used to be always risk categories three and four together. We have new uh, components in planning roof pressure coefficients, which turned out to be very controversial. The roofing folks came unglued when we introduced these. Okay, this is the old risk category three and four map. Well, with increased data, we have contours now. So what you will see, even for risk category four, it's not that big an impact. I believe this is 127 miles an hour, and then you will have wind speeds less than 120. 